Hi, I'm Jess, welcome back to my channel. So a new season is finally upon us, so I thought it'd be a good time to take a closer look at all the key trends for this autumn winter 2019. If you're new to my channel or somehow you've just stumbled across this video, it would be lovely if you could subscribe and press the little bell button so you get notified each time I upload. Those that know me well know that I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Now, if there's one thing we saw on the catwalk, it was definitely variety. If you love colour, it's absolutely the season for you. If you're not fond of colour, it's equally the season for you. If you prefer midis over minis, it's definitely going to be your season and equally vice versa the other way. So it looks like it's going to be one of those seasons that's fairly confusing to work out what are the actual trends I'm meant to be wearing. So to make things a little bit more simple, here's my pick of the key trends I think we'll be wearing for this autumn winter. So first up it's midi skirts, preferably of the 70s French variety. We saw this all over the catwalks from the likes of Celine, Balenciaga, they added a pop of colour to the look and Valentino added those huge silk neckties with the blazer to complete the look. Now I found a couple on the high street which I'll pop up some images while I'm talking just to show you, you don't have to go super high end or designer to create this look. There's absolutely tons to choose from, from the high street and with the independent designers as well. Personally, my favorite way to wear this trend would be to choose a blush or a camel toned midi skirt and pair it with similar soft tones. It doesn't really matter which fabric you choose, it's all about the length. Get that perfect midi skirt length and you will probably find yourself wearing it all the way through autumn winter. Now in terms of styling your midi skirts on trend for this season, the one thing we saw on the catwalk time and time again was a blazer, a blouse and the skirt. So if you remember those three points, you're not really going to go wrong. Now when it comes to deciphering the big on trend color of each season, it can get really confusing. You look in various different fashion magazines and everybody seems to say something different. But the one color that everybody has mentioned is butter yellow and I think this will be the color of the season. But rather than those super bright summery yellows, it's more of a muted, softer tone that I think with all those gorgeous tones of beige which are not going anywhere and blush tones and camels, you can really mix and match a beautiful muted yellow into that mix to complete the perfect outfit. Now Pantone's official description of the colour is wax yellow, which gives you a good idea of the tone of yellow that you should be looking for. We saw it on the likes of Jill Sander and Max Mara's runways. So for me personally, I would probably buy a beautiful butter yellow blouse. I could pair it with blue den jeans. I think that would look really lovely tone-wise together. And if I can find a beautiful butter yellow evening dress, I will absolutely snap it up. So this season we're going all romantic with lashings of rose prints pretty much everywhere. And if you can incorporate that into a cocktail dress, then you have totally sussed the trend. Slightly dark and gothic inspired, but not too much that way. It's still very wearable. So it won't be long before the high street is flooded in rose prints. We're already seeing loads of florals, but slowly but surely as the weeks go by, I think we'll see those floral prints get darker and darker. It's more of a sumptuous, romantic, theatrical feel that you're looking for. So anything on that dark floral front is definitely better than the light florals we saw perhaps in summer. Now there's a definite nod to the 40s in terms of the style of the dresses with that floral print literally from head to toe. So in terms of dresses, try and keep your eye out for those wide shoulders, nipped in waist silhouettes in those beautiful dark floral prints. Now I hate the cold with a passion. I really should have been born somewhere very hot all year round because I'm not fond of our English winters whatsoever. So hearing that tights are back in fashion for this autumn winter is music to my ears. Now we saw tights all over the catwalk, pretty much everybody was doing it. But the key points I picked up were the spotty tights that we saw in Saint Laurent. They look great paired with a mini skirt. So if you're a fan of wearing minis, I pair it with a sheer pair of black tights with the spot details or something similar. That's a really cool look, maybe with an ankle boot to toughen it up a little bit. 
in a Saint Laurent kind of fashion. If that's a little bit too far out for you, you can just go with thick black tights and that's really on trend for this season. It's a really easy, simple and cost effective way to look super on trend. And I think most of us would be able to incorporate a pair of tights somehow into our outfits. So on to outerwear and the statement coat. Of course, if there's one season we're going to be able to do a statement coat, it would be autumn, winter. So no big surprises there, but the difference with this season as opposed to last season is all about the bigger, the better. So on the catwalk, there was a few key coat trends. You've got the puffer jacket, which isn't a favorite of mine, but it is going to be one of the big trends this season. You've got the cape, which I think can look really, really elegant done in the right way. And you've got the oversized floor sweeping winter coat, which is my personal favorite. I love this trend because I think it will last. It's not throwaway fashion in any shape or form. I'm looking for a new winter coat this season. And I know that if I do end up going a bit more pricey, I'm going to have it in my wardrobe for years. So it feels like an investment piece. And that's the joy of this trend really. It's not throwaway fashion. It's going to be something that lasts. Now, if I was you, I would focus on wool winter coats and go for the highest quality quality you can afford. To have a beautiful winter coat on top of whatever it is you're wearing will always elevate your look. When it comes to colours, I would say play it safe with neutral tones. If you go for it in the butter yellow, for example, that is really on trend this season, by next autumn winter, it's probably going to look dated. So if you want to spend your money wisely, I would say absolutely go for this trend, but go for it in black or gray, camel, beige, or maybe a sand tone. It will totally work on top of all the other trends that we're seeing this autumn winter, but it will equally work in 10 years time, which when you've spent a little bit more on a winter coat is definitely the kind of thing you want. It's all about shoulders this autumn winter, preferably wide shoulders, slim waist silhouette, which is hugely flattering pretty much on everyone's body shape. The high street has interpreted this trend in so many different ways, so you've got lots to choose from. You could go with shoulder pads and really rock that 80s look. You could go with just a gentle gathering over the sleeves. You could go with big puffy sleeves like we're seeing with some of those satin blouses that have equally got giant neckties. Or you can go for something slightly more structured and a bit more power dressing, a bit of a harder edge to it. So the world is your oyster in terms of shoulder details this season. Just make sure whatever it is that you choose, you bring your waist back in again. So don't leave your shirt hanging out, for example, because you really want to try and create that lovely silhouette tuck your shirts in, add a belt on top, really cinch your waist in, and it will give you more of an hourglass figure, which is really feminine and hugely on trend for this season. There's 50 shades of beige you're not going anywhere anytime soon, which I, for one, am very pleased about. I find beige and sand and camel some of the most flattering tones in my wardrobe, and I do tend to wear them an awful lot. I just find those kind of tones really chic and elegant, and most importantly, really versatile in my wardrobe. I know that if I'm rushing around trying to get ready and haven't really got time to put an outfit together properly, if I stick on one of those gorgeous shades of beige or camel that I've got in my wardrobe, it instantly makes me look put together without even really trying. And that's the joy of those colors, why I love them so much. So this season, we saw it from the likes of Jill Sander, The Rose, Stella McCartney, Fendi, and of course, Max Mara. And that then, of course, is trickling down to the high street. You could go for beige in pretty much any item of clothing you want to. When I was researching for this video, I was thinking about all the beige and camel I've got in my own wardrobe. And actually I noticed that I seem to have one piece of beige in every single item. So I've got a beige dress, I've got a camel coat, I've got a beige blouse, I seem to have bought an awful lot of it and have almost a capsule collection of beige already. Adding those tones into your outfit really elevates the overall look. It's minimal chic at its very finest. Now one more trend I wanted to mention that I think we will all be doing come December is a little bit of daytime dazzle. It's slightly predictable that of course some sort of gold or shimmery diamonds, glitter, etc. would be on trend for autumn winter because we see it every single year. But this year particularly, it's all about wearing it in the daytime rather than just at night, which I kind of like actually. We saw it with the likes of Tory Burch, Christian Dior, Celine. They paired their plaid skirts with gold sequin jackets. And at Chanel, they had sequin bodies with elegant wide 
wide leg pants that looked absolutely stunning. The trick with this is not to go head to toe, but just go for little elements. So like they did at Chanel, just the top section was pretty sparkly and the bottom section was just a beautiful pair of tailored trousers. That keeps it simple and elegant and beautifully timeless. By adding a cardigan or a scarf or a necklace or a belt that's got a little bit of detail to it, just a little bit of daytime sparkle can complete the look perfectly. So hopefully that's explained and simplified the trends a little bit for this autumn winter 2019. Don't forget to let me know in the comments section below your favourite trend for this autumn winter. I'd be really interested to know which one you think you'll be wearing the most. And as always, you can also find me over on Instagram at Fashion and Style Edit. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.